See you on the beach in a couple of hours. Have fun exploring, but please be careful. Oh, boy! Yeah! Oh! Oh! That is a cool submarine! Oh! Wow. We should ask if we could have a ride in it. It would be so fun! Yeah, we'd never be allowed in that. Mm. Hello, hello! Hello there, mister! We like your submarine so much. Yes, thank you. What are you going to be doing in it? We're going to dive deep into the Mariana Trench, which is the deepest and most uncharted region of the ocean. There, I hope to discover something that no one knew existed. Are you going to find Obaid's brain? Funny! <laughs> <laughs> what do you hope to find there? Um, uh... I don't really know yet. Most of the world under the sea is unexplored, so there are likely many forms in the most remote parts that we have not encountered yet, you see. <laughs> oh, there are strange things oh. down there under the ocean. Big and dangerous things there. Things you may be sorry you discovered, but it's too late. Mm, huh? I, I, um, I've got lots to do. Bye-bye. Nice meeting you. Uh, huh? Come on, let's go and explore the rest of the island. new invention. What is it? It's my holographic projector. Look, you can point it at anything you like. Press the button once to capture the image you want, then project it like this. Aw, <laughs> you poor little thing. Do you want some food? Do you want some? This monkey likes me. Probably because you look like a banana. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey! <laughs> <laughs> oh, where are they going? Oh, <laughs> monkey! Come here, I'll give you lots of food. Huh? Come here, little fella! Fully automated dive. Obey! No! Oh no! This is bad! He's almost done eating it! Obeyed! We have bigger things to worry about right now! Huh? Like what? Oh, I don't know. Maybe like this problem you created. Just look over there, guys! Dive in progress. Oh. Estimated descent distance to ocean floor is six kilometers. Oh, what are we going to do? <laughs> All right, sit back and enjoy the ride. There's not much else we can do. <sighs> uh, hello, boys. Uh, can you hear me? Are you all okay? 
Yes, we can hear you. We're fine. What are you guys doing in there? We followed our little friend that Obaid was chasing for eating a snack and accidentally hit the launch button trying to get it. Which little friend? Whoa! <laughs> No, no, the monkey's in my submarine. Uh, don't worry, boys. Uh, you're all quite safe as long as you uh, stay still and don't touch anything. The submarine is on a pre-programmed route to the deepest part of the ocean, so just hang in there. <laughs> has reached to this depth before. <laughs> Programmed route. It can't be stopped. Huh? huh? It's coming towards us. Oh, and we're still going towards it. What? Uh, get us out of here. Oh. What can I do? Uh, think, Mazor, think. Well, I think it's time to have one final meal. Ha! Huh. 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 Hey! Huh. Uh. 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 Yes! Uh. Uh. Nano, do you think you can override the system and give me control of the sub? I will try. Hurry up, Nano! Keep trying. If you don't hurry, I'm afraid it will become the giant crab's lunch. Come on, Nano, faster! This sub override complete. <laughs> Automated diving oh, quest well done, disabled. Nano. Well done! I can get us out of the trench now. <laughs> oh, no. Can't this thing go any faster? This is the fastest it can go! Ah! It's got us! What are we gonna do now? I got it! We can scare it with something even bigger! Huh? Here, let's see how the crab likes King Kong! Well, that didn't work. We're all doomed! Why isn't this crab afraid of a giant monkey? What's going to scare him now? They should scare him! What? This! Wow! Now that's the scariest thing I've ever seen! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yeah! It's all thanks to your scary face, Solemn. It could scare off a giant crab. Good job! <clears throat> You're welcome, you're welcome. Um, so now can we please go back before that thing comes back? Yeah, good idea. Let's go home. Woo! Woo! Ha, well done for getting back safely. Yes, and uh, well done, boys, for discovering the giant crab. What a feat to honor you. We have decided Woo. to yeah. name it the Giant Man Solar Crab. <laughs> You've got the same name as a giant crab. Uh -huh. My name is Mansoor. My name is Mansoor. <laughs> Nothing fra 
saddens me except Solemn's ugly face. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Abracadabra! What's wrong, Obaid? Magic is a bit scary, but it's not real, silly. No! <sighs> no! How about I make him wear it? <laughs> For my final illusion, I introduce Boy Becomes Rabbit. I need three uh -huh. volunteers. <gasps> you, you, yeah. and you. Come on, Obaid. You stay with me. Can you two please check that box carefully? Make sure it is empty and has no hidden compartment. Yeah, there's nothing in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. Now please return to your seats and watch closely. Will you please get into the box and sit down? Abra Kadabra! Huh? Oh, well done. <laughs> you were great. Yes. You disappeared superbly. All I did was fall down, but really? I didn't expect to see you here, Grandpa. Well, I like to help out at the school when I can, and besides, Jafar is an old friend after all. I've got to get back up there. <laughs> Are you okay with handling the trap door? Absolutely. <laughs> huh? And now, I will make the box and the rabbit disappear. All right, stand back, Menser. Don't let him get away. Look out. Where did Mancher go? I'm sure he's waiting for us, maybe at the entrance. Huh. Uh, I got you. Huh? Everything all right, my friend? <laughs> yes, why? Uh. Ah, Flopsy! I'm sure you were messing around with them. Hmm. Hmm? Uh, we have to clean the place up before we leave. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry about it. Mansur and I will take care of this mess. You can go. Thank you both for your help. It's been a great pleasure. We couldn't have done the show without you. See you again, old friend. <laughs> Did anyone see Mansur? Huh? Ah. Hi, Shama. Hi, boys. Where's Mansur? We don't know. He disappeared after the magician turned him into a rabbit. Hmm. Ah. Maybe the magician forgot to turn him back into a boy. <laughs> Excuse me, but I have to go now. I'll see you later. <gasps> Solemn, I figured it out. I think. Mansour was turned into a rabbit! Uh, I don't think so, Bade. The magician didn't actually turn Mansour in. Uh -huh. hey. 
Well, I thought... Oh. oh. Ah! The show was spectacular. Remember when I played the role of the evil magician and you were my creepy assistant? Now do you believe me, Solemn? Look! The magician and his partner are proud of what they did to Mansoor! Look! There he is! What? Where? There! In the little cage! Don't be ridiculous! He's being kidnapped! Obeyed! <laughs> 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 Come back! Give me back the rabbit! Someone catch him! Huh? Your friends, they ran off with my rabbit! What do I do? What? No way! Obeyed and Salem wouldn't take something that's not theirs! But I saw them! Please help me now! I need my rabbit back! Please help me! Flopsy is like family to me! I will! I'll help you! Go and get that rabbit! <laughs> What's going on, Obaid? You don't actually think this is Mansur, do you? Yes! I'm sure it's Mansur. Look at his face! Uh... Seems like their phones are off. But we can get some help from Nano. Hello, Mansur. Hello, Nano. Can you fly over to Obaid's house and Salem's house and see if they're there? Of course. Nano is my personal assistant, and he's a robot who can fly. I invented him. That's really incredible. You have a flying robot? People think my magic tricks are clever, but with your intelligence, you managed to invent a flying robot. Obeyed? Let's take the rabbit back to the school. No, I'm going to try and turn him back into a boy. What? Hmm. Ah. Mansoor! 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 He isn't turning back! You don't say. We have to go back to the magician so we can turn him back to normal! Mansoor! Salem is not home yet! Thanks, Nano. Can you try Obey's house next? Of course! Hi, Shama! Have you seen Obey and Salem? They took the magician's rabbit and ran off. What? Oh, I remember now. When I saw them leaving school, they told me about the magic trick. Although I was just joking, I told them that the magician turned you into a rabbit. I think Obeyed actually might have believed me. No, surely they didn't believe I turned you into a rabbit. Obey definitely would. Mansoor. I didn't find them in Obey's house either. Thank you, Nano. You should just go home now. Hey, you! Hello. Is that Flopsy? His name is Mansoor. Now fix this. Huh? Huh? Hmm. I need you to take me to Jafar so we can turn this rabbit back into my good friend Mansoor. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Jafar? It seems the game is up. I'm with two boys who have Flopsy, I mean, uh, Mansoor, Mansoor. Uh, and they demand you turn him back into a boy now. Yes, yes, see you soon. Okay, the great Jafar has agreed. Come on, let's go to your friend's house. <laughs> I beg you, please turn Mansoor back into a boy. He's not fun like this. Please, Mr. Jafar, can you help? Abra, Kadabra! Mansoor, you're back! Hi, Obeyed! Tell me, what was it like being a rabbit? Um, it was fun for a little bit, but I prefer being a boy. Are you, are you happy being back in your normal body? All right then, keep your eye on this. Enough! Turn it back before he melts! Abra 
Abracadabra! It's okay, Ope, don't worry. It's fun turning into lots of different things. You should try it sometime. Oh, Here. I'm very sorry for all the trouble I've caused. No, of course not. Hmm. It was not troublesome at all. Yep. This one will be one of our favorite stories. Obeyed. Look, it's Mansoor. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> come, come, Mansoor. Come <laughs> here, little baby. <laughs> <laughs> all the nerves and bad energies from me and made me a better actor. Oh, my goodness. Wow, look at all those people coming to see the play. Now I feel really nervous, you guys. I honestly can't wait to do this. You mean you're not scared at all? Not even a little bit? No. Why would I be scared? I have my stone. A lot of actors carry something that brings them luck. Maybe you guys should... Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Hello, children. You all look wonderful. Are you ready for the show? I can't do this. I can't do this. I've forgotten all my lines. Don't worry, Salem. Once you've started, all the lines will come back to you. No, 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 no. I won't. I need my stone. Well, let's see if we can find it. This play's gonna be funny. Those brats will never know what hit them. <laughs> Where is it? Where? Where did I put my lucky stone? Where, 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 where? Uh, uh. Psst, psst. Hey, Salem, uh. Salem, come here. What? Look. Uh. Come on, guys. Two minutes to curtain. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Any luck finding it? We can't search for it while we're performing on stage. We need someone to help us. Sure, but who? Shama's coming to watch the play. Let's ask her if she can help us. My phone isn't with me, and I can't go there with this outfit. Hmm. I know. Obaid, come with me. Quickly. <laughs> Hello, Uncle. Hello, Auntie. Hello, Shama. How are you all? Huh? Mansoor? What are you doing here? And who's there with you? Obeyed! Hi, Obeyed. Hi, Shama. Salem lost his lucky stone, and he can't seem to go on stage without it. Do you think you could help us find it? Lucky stone? What do you mean? Is it the green thing that he carries with him? Okay, well, maybe I can try to help you guys out somehow. Thanks, Shama. Seriously. Shama? <laughs> I am an evil wizard, and I am here to find Aladdin. I will trick him into getting me a magic lamp that holds untold power. No one will be able to stop me. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, look, there he is now. Go on, Solomon, you're up. Huh? I said, oh, look, look, there he is now. Hello, nice to meet you, Aladdin. I'm your long-lost uncle. Uh, uh, I know you won't believe this, but it's the truth. I didn't know I had an uncle. Did you 
your father ever tell you about me? No, not even once! Uh, okay, come with me. I'll show you an amazing view. Your eyes won't believe it. This is a very nice play. I like it very much. Oh, don't you think so? Ah, uh, yes. I haven't seen anything quite like it. Uh, I can't remember any of my lines. Don't worry. I attach a script to the end of the fishing line. I'll keep it in front of you the whole time so you can read from it. Oh, what to do? I have no idea where to look for a solemn stone. <gasps> I got it! What a good idea, Shama! So, my dear nephew, what do you think of all the amazing views we saw in the city? But hey, you still haven't seen anything yet. Let's go to the wild and I'll show you better views. What will, what will you show me, uh, uh, Uncle? I will show you. But first, let us build a fire. Uh, what? Uh. Uh -huh. Treasure, the treasure that will make you the richest sultan in the east. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Behold the mighty fire. Now climb down and fetch me the lamp. Thank you so much, Shama. God bless you. You're the best. You saved the play. Well done, everyone. Mm, it didn't go exactly as rehearsed, but the audience liked it. Salem, can I have a word with you? You're doing very well, Salem. Just calm your nerves and everything will be all right. Ah! Don't worry, Salem. Look, I've got your script all over me. You can read it while we're on stage together. Huh? <laughs> All right, positions, everyone, come on. Act two must begin. <laughs> Take as much treasure as you want, boy, but make sure you find me the lamp. <laughs> uh, uh, I am the genie of the lamp. <laughs> what is your bidding, my master? I want to get out of this, this, uh, swarma. <laughs> You mean you want to get out of this dark cave, go back home, and have a nice shawarma? Uh -huh. <laughs> if that is what you want, your wish is my command. Oh. And bit, you're home. Anything you want, just say the word. My master. Uh, I would like you to fill my house uh, uh, with garbage. Uh, uh, don't you mean that you'd like me to fill your house with... Treasure instead? Right? I can give you some treasure now, Aladdin. This gift is for you. I hope it serves you well. May it help you in your journey when you most need it. Thank you. Thank you so much for this treasure, Genie. What I wish for now is a fine white stallion, for I must ride to the Sultan's palace and ask to marry his daughter, the beautiful Princess Jasmine. Ah. 
When they come down here, pull the lever and spring them right back up again. Don't mess this up. No, 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 no! And so our tale comes to an end. Now all that's left is to thank you all for coming and wish you all good night. Good job, guys! Well done, kids. That sure was, um, quite a performance. Mmm, delicious. Uh, what have you done? It's actually a sugared almond. I didn't know where to look, but then I remembered. I realized that I had sugared almonds in my bag. I chose mm. one that looked like your stone. I suppose I never really needed that stone, huh? Guess it really wasn't lucky. Not at all, Salem. You don't need a good luck charm to be a good actor. Just talent and dedication, and you've got both. Shama, do you still have some sugared almonds in your bag? No. Sorry, Obaid. There's no more luck. <laughs> oh! Another sugared almond! Uh, oh, ouch. My lucky stone! I don't think luck has anything to do with that stone. You're right, Obaid. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Muscle! Did you wash the soap <laughs> off your face? Help yourselves. Gather around. <laughs> the car looks very clean. You've done an outstanding job. <laughs> As a thank you, I would like to pay you the participation fees for the Junior Biathlon. That's great, Grandpa. But we don't know anything about this race. Oh, but you have all the information you'll need. It's right in front of you. Look. The Junior Biathlon, which consists of the running race followed by a cycling race in the Ramal Stadium. And it's sponsored by a charitable foundation and will start next weekend. Guys, we have to take part in this. This is the best opportunity to test our fitness level, you know? And raise money for charity too, you guys. And for me to win a medal, of course. Oh yeah? Not if I win a medal by beating you to first place. I don't think so. I expect my fitness is a whole lot better than yours is. But I have the brains to go with it. Fitness beats intelligence. No. Strategy beats fitness. You will need both, in fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nano, please download all the information you can get me on the competition and the best strategy we can use. Downloading now. You know what? We need to train, too. Yeah, you're right. I want us to finish in the top 10. Yeah. Or the top 20. The top 25 or top 30 would be swell. I just want to finish in the top 40 at least, you know? We'll be top 50 without a doubt. Even the top 60 would be fine. We just can't come in last. Come on, let's go. <laughs> the key to successful racing is strategy. Don't feel the need to take an early lead. Stay balanced all race long. I'm going to beat Turkey. I don't even feel tired. And so we'll see, he doesn't stand a chance. Oh. Huh? Huh? Oh. <laughs> How are you?
are your training sessions going, Mansoor? Does your butt hurt from sitting all day? They're going well. I learned all about successful race strategies and how to win. Good for you, I mean that. Actually, I learned how to run and cycle properly. I wasn't just sitting around the house watching videos, you see. I've been searching for the best strategy to utilize so that I can win the race and rub it in your well, face. Well, I'll tell you one thing. You're not gonna beat me. Guys, tell me, how's your training going? My training's been going very well. I've been running, cycling, and studying race strategy all day long. I can even Can you pass started... me the water, please? <sighs> How about I tell you a short story huh? about an huh? apple, an orange, and a strawberry? The apple was only concerned with the right mind, and the orange was only concerned about a healthy body. But the strawberry wanted the right mind in a healthy body. So what did he do? He trained and developed mm -hmm. both. You only have a few more days of training left. Use them wisely, children. will begin shortly. Athletes, get ready. Make your way to the start line. And will the spectators please offer their support? These strong athletes need all of your support, so please give them a round of applause. OK. We are finally ready. Uh-huh. We start with two laps on foot, followed by two on bikes. OK, everyone, on your marks, get set, athletes, and go! Yeah! yeah. And they're off. Look at them go. Runner number 12 takes an early lead. This is so much fun. Uh, yeah. Uh, I love my new trainers. Me too. They're so comfy. And they help us run really fast. Well, maybe not that fast. <laughs> well, at least you're comfy. One lap of running to go. Contestant number 12 is still out in the lead and is going at a tremendous pace. Here come the rest of the runners doing their best to keep up. Contestant number 12 is going extremely fast. He is about to lap the two last athletes. Did you hear that? Turkey is going to lap the last two runners. I feel sorry for those guys. Uh, poor them. What losers, right? Hi, Obeyed. Hi, Salem. Good race. Oh, no. It's us they meant. Hurry up, Obeyed. We can't let anyone else take over us like he did. He's lapped them. He's lapped them. He's really fast. I can barely see him fly by. We'll never keep up that pace. Turkey's got wings. Contestant number 12 has completed his run and is now mounting his bike. A second to take on some water, and he's off again. And here we go. Most of the contestants are now just reaching their bicycles to cycle two more laps. There are no losers in this race except the athlete to come in last. But you gotta respect their willingness to keep on keeping on, don't ya? A great way to spend the afternoon, isn't it, folks? 
two contestants no. are just finishing their Not running again. race as contestant number 12 begins his final lap cycling like I've never seen before. Obeyed and Salem put on their safety helmets and get on their bikes. Oh, it's nice to sit down after all that running. It's busy around here. The chasing pack is getting closer and closer to contestant 12. Is he beginning to struggle? Did he use all his energy up too soon at the start of the race? Contestant number eight has played this so well. He strategically paced himself, maintaining his fitness till the end of the race. All he has to do now is power through to the finish line. Contestant number 10 is getting tired and slowing down too. Will he be overtaken? We'll just have to see, folks. He had the strategy, but he didn't have the power. What will happen now? Look on the outer lane. Here comes sprint finish from contestant number three very quickly. This is getting close, folks. Extremely close. What a race. What great athletes. What great drama. What a day. We almost have our winner. Will he make it? They're so close. Almost there. another lap to go. Well done, cousin, well done. I mean, you were just great. You really had the best strategy and managed to strike the right balance between body and mind for this race. Thank you. You were going so fast at the end, Shama. I'm really sorry for not taking you seriously because in the end, I should have listened to you. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Tell me, ready for tomorrow's competition? Yep, I sure am. We're gonna build the tallest, most beautiful sandcastle. We'll win huh? the first prize with the help of our two secret weapons. Does that mean you made special sand? Special um, sand? No. Oh, I know. Did you invent a robotic bucket? Or maybe a spade attachment for Nano? No. Our secret weapons will be science and engineering. Huh? I'll consult with Nano and work out wind speed, humidity, texture of the sand, and then we'll calculate the height and dimension so we ensure the castle remains secure. You stole the words right out of my mouth. I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Mansoor and his friends. They think they're gonna win because they'll use science and engineering. They think they're so smart, <laughs> but this year, I will win, no matter what. Uh, are you gonna use science and, uh, what did you call it, the uh, other thing too? <laughs> not quite, man. I'm gonna cheat. Oh, hmm. Oh. Huh? We're going to build the biggest sand castle ever. And we'll win, because we have the best and smartest team. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we might win if you don't touch the sand castle, babe. <laughs> <laughs> If we secretly mix the sand with this flour and some water, we'd be able to design a better, bigger, and stronger sand castle than anyone else. 
so scared of a little crab. Uh, scared, you say? No, no, I'm not really scared of them. See, they're only good cooked, covered with lemon sauce. Just delicious, come on. <laughs> hmm. Good luck, Team Mansoor. You can do it, guys. <laughs> Welcome to this year's annual Sandcastle Competition! The team that wins will be the team that builds the strongest, most beautiful, and most creative Sandcastle ever! We wish every team good luck! You have three hours, everyone, starting now! I know what you're trying to do. I need a solution. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Kids. Oh, yeah, oh, yes, please. Please. so thirsty. Oh, thank you. So, tell me, how's the competition going? Very well, in fact, Gramps. Yeah, ours looks better than that one over there. Mm -hmm. That boy is quite unusual. Anyway, I will leave you to it. Glad you enjoyed the drinks and good luck. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh, why are you wearing sand cubes on you? You're very geometric. Shut up! Focus on mixing the flour. Don't forget the water. We need our sand to be strong. I'm busy with something else. <laughs> what? Watch your heads, please! What a naughty boy. <sighs> needs a bigger ladder. I wouldn't worry if I were you, man, sir. Honestly, our castle looks so much nicer, believe me. <laughs> Hello, losers down there. Okay, fellas. <laughs> now focus on finishing the rest. But before you go off running errands, bring another bag of flour. <laughs> Do you think we'll be able to finish on time, Nano? Yes, is my prediction, if the weather remains the same. Do you really think we could win, Nano? Every outcome is possible. So you're saying Tarek will win, Nano? That depends on the judges' opinions and taste. If they have no taste, Tarek will definitely win. Hmm. I wonder if the judges are aware that Tarek is cheating. Cheating? What? How? I detect low levels of sand in his sandcastle. Now that doesn't compute. Really? What else do you detect? High levels of flour, cardboard, boo. I gotta say, it's still very good craftsmanship. Uh -huh. And his teammates are causing a disruption for the other contestants. Look there! <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me? Hmm. Huh? Ah! Oh. 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 
I gotta say, good work, gentlemen. But Mansoor's castle looks nicer. I'm worried they'll win. Why don't we change the way it looks? No! Be careful, ladders! Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Time's up! It's clear that this year only two contestants were able to build their sandcastles within the given time. The judges will now choose the winner. Looks like I'm gonna win this year. your sandcastle, young man. We used engineering and science to keep the sandcastle strong and safe. But there's another factor stronger than anything else. And what factor would that be? My teammates' commitment and unity. Huh. The winner is team number seven. They have the only sandcastle that's still standing. Well done, guys. Mansoor, Obeid, Salem, Shama, Turkey, and Nano. You all win tickets for a kayaking trip. Congratulations. Peace. <laughs> well done, kids. Bravo, guys. Bravo. You deserve it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>